I'm Zach Elmblad, and this is a multi-part presentation, Borderline Vagabond. This is chapter 14, and if you want to start on chapter 1, you should click right here. Very good. Chapter 14, Goodbyes. I walked into Hooper's apartment with some biscuits and sweet tea from up the road, and we sat at the dining room table for some straight talk. You just gonna leave that chick here? She's clearly into you. I gotta get back home, dude. I don't belong here. That shit never lasts anyway. We're all on different paths. You belong wherever you are, dude. Aren't you out here looking for the dream? This could be it. He sipped his tea and looked me in the eye. I live the dream every day, dude. I'm not out here looking to stay. I'm only looking to find meaning in my life for once. Your life has been full of meaning, you privileged little whining fucking twat. Whoa. The truth hits kind of hard sometimes. We're so blessed by the last few thousand years of history, and you're the one that should know it best. You've been studying it your whole life. You should be happy you have the time to think about and process how bad you're getting fucked. You could be stuck in a third world country drinking shit water and trying to grow food in the fucking desert and still finding enough time to teach your kids how to do the same thing when you don't even really know how to do it yourself. All this carrying on and moaning about the meaning of life has really gotten old. A hundred years ago, the average life expectancy was like 50. That would put us right around middle age. What's your point? I was wondering where he was going to take this. Point? Point, you fucking prick? My point is that we, meaning you and I, like to sit around and talk up a bunch of bullshit about how we're going to take hold of our main nerves and dream our dreams, but when it comes down to it, most of those nerves have already been grabbed and the dreams have been dreamed. Those are just words. We're not going to grow old and die, man. We're not going to conquer the stupid world. It can't be done. We're just going to be dudes. Nothing special to anybody but the people who know us personally. That's good enough for me. I don't need fame or fortune, or eight fucking houses. I don't need a fucking yacht. And I don't feel like fucking around with the stock market all day like a shitty religion that costs too much money. We have to dream our own dreams and live our own lives within the framework we've constructed. It's time to stop thinking and start doing, dude. It's time for us to stop talking about how bad we want the things we're totally capable of getting for ourselves. I want a family. A chick to fuck without a rubber and snot-nosed little brats to feed. I want to create little humans. I want to feed them food and watch them grow like smart little house pets. I want to teach them how to fuck with people and get their money. I want to have a garden. I want to own a house. I want to raise a family in my house. I want a job that I can do for the rest of my life without worrying about whether or not it's going to pay the bills. I want to save money for when I get even older and my kids are all grown up. I want to through-hike the Appalachian Trail. I want to go to Italy. I have dreams, dude, and they're as attainable as any metaphor could ever put it. I still grab a hold on the main nerve, but I don't want to take any more than I can give back. I want other people to live their dreams, too. We can sit and whine all day about how bad we have it, and how loathsome it is to be surrounded by stupid people all day, and about how awful the over-commercialization of our society is. We can get drunk and womanize and party and have a good time, but we're still going to be held accountable for our actions. We still have to get old and die. We still have to work jobs and eat food. We have to be around idiots we can't stand, but we also get the rare chance to find friends in what seems like a sea of people who don't understand us. We're fucking blessed just to be alive, to be a part of this, 
to be human beings and to have been part of this world. So what if you don't become famous? So what if you don't get rich? So what if you never go on the road again? Who cares if you never find the main nerve or the dream ever again? Who cares if you just left it in some Durham apartment? Who gives a shit? I'll tell you what. I'm your fucking friend. I care about you. I want you to succeed. I'm not going to turn my back on you if you don't become a famous author. If your band never goes on tour, I'm not going to make fun of you for it. I'm going to be pissed off at whoever blocked your path, even if it's you yourself. I'm still going to be your friend because that's what fucking matters to me. It's about sharing our life experiences with each other and scheming up new adventures. We could both die tomorrow, and none of this would have mattered even the slightest bit. Why the fuck are you so worried about your future when your past has been great and the present isn't even that bad despite your stupid squabbling over philosophy and the good life? Hooper Felonius, great philosopher of the ages, wise sage of truth and clarity. Wow. It's pretty fucking profound, Hooper, I gotta say. This is why I hang out with this guy. The truth flows from him in a fountain of fucks and worldly insight. I just feel like you're making a big deal out of nothing, man. You got a lot to be thankful for. Don't forget it. He sipped his tea again, looking at me over the rim of his cup and waiting for a response. I'll never forget it, Hoop, but it won't stop me from dreaming bigger and bigger. I'm glad that you know what you want out of life, and I hope that you can get it. I don't think I can settle down into a situation like yours. That isn't my goal. I don't want children. I don't want a wife. I don't want to work at the same job for my entire life, or even for an extended period of time. My interests change daily. I want to experience a wide range of possibilities. I don't want to live in a house in the suburbs, or on a stupid farm. I just want to keep a house somewhere for my stuff to be safe in while I'm out on the hunt for adventure. I want to buy food at a grocery store. I don't want to grow it. I don't want to go to church. I don't want to relive the 800 billionth iteration of Dude on Earth. I want to be with the people who stood out far enough to get a few of them to follow off the beaten path. I want to set new ideas into motion. I want to change the world around me, and I want to influence other people to make their own changes. I want to see what they see and I want to help them make their visions into reality. I have things to say, and I want to stand up and scream them out loud in a crowded public space. I want to get angry. I want to be wrong and be able to change my mind. I want to broadcast my feelings and my beliefs because I value them. I want to keep my friends and make more. I want my friends to see me as a successful person who does what he says he's going to do. I want to make my parents proud to have created me. I want to make the world proud for having had me be a part of it. I want people to remember my name because I made a difference. I want to live forever, dude. We were both standing now, pacing back and forth around his kitchen like we always did when things were starting to get real. I know you do, and I wish you the best of luck. I hope you achieve every goal on that list with time to spare for new ones. I just don't want you to place the value of your existence on the way other people see you. It just isn't worth it. If I ever teach you a fucking thing, I want this to be it. What other people think doesn't matter at all. They are shit. Lie to them. Steal from them. Treat them like the stupid fucks they are. If they get in your way, stomp on their faces as you climb to the top. You're gonna do everything you want to do, dude. You're doing it right now. Don't worry about a fucking thing. None of this matters. It's all in what you make of it. You're right, Hoop, in your own crazy little way. I don't need to lie, cheat, or steal to get what I want, but I see where you're going with this. I have to leave at once. I have to get home to where I belong. I have to stop complaining, stop fantasizing, stop dreaming. It isn't about the dream. Dreaming happens while you're asleep and waiting. Living is about actualizing your dreams. It's about what you're transmuting into existence with the tools and the material you've been given. Someone has to be around to stretch the limits and to look at things a different way. I have to go home and get to work making my dreams come true. That's what I'm talking about, dude. I finally got it through your dumb fucking skull. You spend some time dreaming, and then you act. He was right, and we both knew it. We would surely see each other again, but our halcyon days were over. We were adults now, fully engaged in the worlds we spent so much effort creating around ourselves. 
If we were to wander again, it would be on a mission of purpose. Hooper was destined to hang up his character, to settle down and live a quiet life of personal conquest and familial satisfaction. I was destined to march ever onward in search of a new thrill, tomorrow's sunrise, and the next adventure. I would leave this place a different person than I was when I had arrived. A certain amount of fear for the uncertainty of the future was brutally carved out of my personality that weekend.